we're set and ready to go. Oh, it's gonna do that crap. Hello and welcome to Live Canopy and Bowling, Putnam Street Lanes, Fitchburg, Mass. Not. There's no Chris today, that's what I'm trying to say. Lane 10 per usual. Again, trying to prolong the battery by giving it a little jump before midway. And I'm doing this to make sure that it's alive and well. Of course, every time I finish a frame, if it's repeating what's going on with the pin setter. Anyway, lane 10 per usual, first game. It'll be interesting to see how things will happen since the last thing I did was uh, shooting at ducks. You would think that balls that are a pound heavier than candle pin balls would difference, but it does. All right, let's see how it goes. Expected as such. If that were only ball one or two. I'm pushing a button. Okay, that's not going to work. Alrighty, crap can. First one's a 10. First two balls into the gutter. Left one, because duck pin. And, and everything on the third for 10. That could have been a strike on spare, but the first two balls went better. That's okay, because it's time for El Stinko, the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? And so far, we've got a perfect game in spite of the rough start. In candle pins, perfect game is getting at least a 10 in all 10 frames. Lowest perfect game is 100, which was done in 2019. Highest possible perfect game never achieved is a 300. World record is 245 by Ralph Sim and co-held by Chris Sargent. And I believe one of those was not even a perfect game, which makes it more impressive. Anyway, time to see what else Stinko does. Time to see if this thing is even doing anything, which of course it won't, because that means it's doing its job. Hello, Ben. I also forgot to. I also forgot to uh, lower the brightness, so of course the phone got ever so slightly warm and stopped working. Anyway, frame one ten, frame two spare. El Stinko. Let's see what it gives us. Are we yet? We're working, which is a surprise. Welcome to Putnam Street. Thin hit, but it got an eight.
still keeping the perfect game alive. Best attempt at it was at Brian's bowl away, which is a tough place. Went seven frames with 10 or better. Eight and nine ruined it with a pair of eights. And then a 10, that game was a 104. That's what the first ball should have been on the first frame. But duck pins. Still keeping the perfect game going. And two El Stink of the bonus balls. What will they add up to? And yes, here on the street, I have double strike multiple times. I can feel it. Pin in the pit, we gotta get rid of it. All right, this is not the highest half I've ever got. There's still more to go. In fact, even if I got a strike, I wouldn't meet my highest half. But you got the 10 and 1, which could have been a strike or a spare, but first two balls just went right into the gutter. And then a spare, and then a 10, the first ball knocking down 8, and then a strike, which then leads to a spare. So far, we're at 68 with L. Stenko, the bonus ball yet to come. Well, Putnam Street, the pin action actually is very, very... This is supposed to be known as one of the world's easiest places to play the game. It's Mason's where... <laughs> yeah. Or some places in Bryan's, some lanes there. Let's see what Elko does. being set up. That's a 7, so 68. 75 half, which is 12 points short of the highest half I've had, which happened here twice. Say goodbye to the perfect game, but eh, who was expecting that? You know, 90-95% of the times the pros don't get them either. Nice high score, but I think this might be the collapse part.
Let it air too far to the left. Got an eight. Unless something really goes wrong, we should make contact. Sometimes it's a little too hard to tell if, uh, if it's more if it's working or not. So I going to be another better than average game. begins. No Cinderella, but it's not a bad start at all. That sucked. And of course, as I said, the great collapse would happen and it did. Thanks to the very strong first half. Also, remember where we're bowling. Keep that in mind. All right, game number two, once this thing is set. If I got a 76, I would win a free game. I'd rather the 119. Game number two.
The Great Collapse continues with seven. Scraping by with nine and the middle finger. That means it's time for El Stinko the bonus ball. What will the be? Let's find out. El Stinko was worthless. The Great Collapse continues with one. So the fill a five. The great collapse continuing. And speaking of, here's the half. Eight, seven, nine, spare, and then a five. The first one making the fill. We are at the barely acceptable level of 40. Let's see if we can continue. Seven to make sure that we never ever see a high triple again. Yep, that happened. That was the only answer. First ready.
six was pointless. Now we need a mark. You wonder how 119 happened. And again, remember who's bowling. Remember who's bowling. We need nine minimum. There it is, because that's the only other option. squeaked by. Nothing good there. That ruined everything. That seven didn't help either. This thing wants to freaking work for a change. <sighs> Disappointment as always but just barely squeaked into average skill. Bottom end. See, every time I score bad, it gives me a higher number to match. In this case, a 91. I would rather a 91 and a free game. Game number three. So much for the triple. We all knew that was a... We all knew that wasn't going to happen. And start with a 10.
now the middle finger remains for now. Putnam Street Action gifted us a spare. It means it's time for El Stinko the bonus ball. What will that give us? El Stinko stinks for the lead with a, but a decent six fill, leaving a curse of the fill imminent. Unless I actually get something to go. of the fill, that's a nine. And that's a half. We got a ten, a nine, another nine, a spare, and another nine. The first ball knocking down six to fill that. We are at 53. Not bad. No high triple, but that's, well, it's likely to never happen. Suck. I was aiming for the other one. At least we hit the one I wasn't aiming for for the nine. Oh, are we still working? I don't trust this thing. Got screwed over on the second ball, that nine.
craptacular six. We need four to make minimum. And by average skill, according to records ICBA has on casual league bowlers, average skill is between 80 to 100. So if we barely make the 80 like we did last time, good. We're four away from the average middle of the road, 90. That six suck. And just no fills really, but a ninety four. Michael and Tom. Yeah. Uh, all right, 94 that time. Let's see, let's see what the magic number is. It's got to be lower. Boy, do I call it. When I do at least halfway decent, it gives me a low ball number to match. If I got a 76, I would have got a free game. Game number four. If you missed the first game, coming off of duck pins, I got stupid lucky. Then the duck pins wore off and everything went back to normal. This time, the duck pins helped amplify the first half of the first game. And then it just tanked from there. finger for the nine plus the first game which was a 119 there were a lot of stupid lucky breaks ruin that one for six. Yes, sir. Exactly, Ben. 
it's time for two El Stinko the bonus balls. What will they add up to? And yes, I repeat myself because people jump in and out. Double strikes, it's happened here several times. Let's see if it happens again. as always, but a knife. Screw it again, because falling gods hate my guts so much. Too little, too late, still the 10. If it were only ball two. It wasn't like the first game where ball three should have been ball two, which could have been ball one. Anyway, nine and a lovely six, then a strike, then a nine, which happens to be a fill, and a 10. We are at 53, again, 53 for a half. How about two bonus balls? <laughs> yeah, I will still stick with El Stinko one and two. 53. And then it fell apart in the other half. Although, not really that bad. gods what I think of their middle finger. And here comes the collapse. That's a four.
that wasn't Putnam Street action, I don't know what it is. Of course, any stupid luck strike, we will gladly accept. Which means two more, I'll stink of the bonus balls. I love the backdoor strike. Especially the Putnam Street ones where you throw a ball, you don't really deserve one, but get in it. Phil. Although it was a good thing on that first ball, that piece of wood didn't do anything. It set up that nine. Which is what we'll get. Not a bad game at all. All right, last frame. I just need five to hit three digits. Another good game with an eight. Easy luck there with that six and that four. Otherwise, no three. Could have possibly been in the one tens or close. Strike Tom also would be proud. Uh, I think he would have said something not about this place that they haven't heard many times before and we've disproven many times on video. All right, am I done? They accuse this place of greasing and we've proven it that they don't. We even went up to the pin plate, rubbed my, rubbed the dull part of my palm on the pin plate and it was still dull. I know when they grease, you would get, uh, you would get literally a shiny, greasy spot on you if you did. And that is a 75 I had to match, but I take the 103. It's, it's just so funny. Every time I do better, they expect a low ball score to match for a free game. I think it's rigged. Game number five. Ball only hooked. Uh, yeah, that pin. The pins like to stick up in the pit in this place. Wonder if the pits are shallow.
Welcome to Masons. of the half Worcester. Close to where I wanted it, Putnam Street action makes it work. Time for El Stinko. Let's see how it goes. El Stinko is a week four, but if I hit the big pile, that little piece of wood between it could go into the little pile. So the fill it's a five. And here's the half time. Nine, then the six, then the ten, and then it all falls apart after the spare, while the five, the first ball being four. We're in an okay 44 half. And this is the part where you show the comments.
second throw in this last frame. My muscling, muscle in my ankle was not happy. It just needs to, uh, it's not hurt. Just when you do just enough to make it angry but not hurt it. Anyway, it's time for El Stinko the bonus ball yet again. What will this bonus be? Down the toilet we go with two ways to get that. The easy way hitting the one outside or the hard way, the one that was in, I managed to actually get it. Redemption possibly here with another El Stinko. Let's see if we can do better in zero. Stinko gave us a five. It's a check mark with a seven pin attached to it. It almost looks like a Kaleri, but it's not. Better no curse on that one with a nine. All right, so we need eight to hit middle of average. Of course I got screwed. Pink pin for the nut. It's a decent score. We got a 91. By the way, that's why they don't have internet here. Why we're way over here is to grab a signal. If we're up against the wall, it's very dodgy. Which is, once again, why it kind of dropped out there for a moment. The phone doesn't like to do its job. All right, let's see what we get here. I have a 91. Well, it actually gave me a higher score. If I got a 97, I would have got a free game. All right, I'm going to plug this in. I know this thing hates it because it means work. 
but try to prolong the battery a little bit. Game number six. Come back after the frame and see, like I've been doing, and see if it's working. Side, you want to go less than the more, even though it was the third ball. Starting out a lovely six. Games a dumpster fire. That's the first decent frame with nine. Can't blame it on aggravating the ankle because it stopped complaining. But we got the spare in that one, and we're going to need a good fill to just save the game. We got a six and a three, and then a nine, nine, and spare. So far, we're at a rebuildable 37, depending on what El Stinko the bonus ball does. Let's see what she does. set up for Curse of the Fill, the, I mean the fill itself is a six, which is decent. But hey look, the leave Dave Madlis says is nearly impossible to get, and I get it almost every time I bowl. There's also a piece of wood in the middle, that could be a good thing.
or on target would have been better. No curse of the fill. The middle finger remains for nine. another I wish it was ball two moment for ten. Take this a low power game and turn it into maybe above power. Courtesy of a little stinko the bonus ball. Two frames, eight. If I get a if I get a four fill, it guarantees that. Instead, we have four standing. El Stinko stinks more for that leave. One of the six. So the fill because that's usually how it happens. Seven. All right, need five to hit the middle of the road. was in the gutter so it doesn't count we just barely got what we needed to hit right in the middle of the road because the bowling gods always disappoint those two frames stunk hard and then of course those two weren't any good either but we made it to 90. Go. 
see what she says. Oh, if I got a 67, I could have got a free game. I'll take the approach to 90. It's also time for game number seven. And since the it is a bit spotty, and this phone just sometimes doesn't want to do anything because it's asking, it's asking to be worked. Some comments that you might be putting in may not get through. There's no alpha omega sinning that I'm attempting to do to anybody. I try to at least say hello to anyone that comes along. So game number seven. Muscles not liking it again. And we got an eight. Are over for eight. frame four just to ruin it.
it almost looks like that she's about to nearly ruin the spare shot, don't it? But from that far away, she's nowhere near that setup. Oh, gee, I wonder how I can blow this one. said you know I would blow it and to no fail anyway half time eight nine eight then a four and then a nine four thirty eight it's rebuildable I think the only reason this phone's accepting the fact that it's plugged in is it's directly under the airflow of the air conditioner just like it was on lane one at Mason's This will be the first junk game of the session. I need a mark. Actually, we need a 10 and 2 nines at least. Either two nines and eight or and ten. One of those are the Ten minimum. So if it's not possible, we're going to do the city tournament opener shot. Set up the fail like always.
Oops. Next set, we got a spare. That means how Stinko wraps this up. So how far in the 80s will we get? El Stinko lives up to the name of the two with no surprise there. And of course that fills up because it has to. 82, just barely acceptable. For those of you who say I'm getting better at this, proof that I'm not. That ended a couple years ago. All right, let's see what we get for a match. Oh, if I got a 78, I got what is that a free game? Game number false hope of a perfect game going. And like I said, I repeat myself because people jump in and out of these things. Perfect game of candle pin is being able to knock down all the pins on each and every turn. So if you get all 10s in 10 frames for 100, it's a perfect game. If anyone could imagine get all 12 strikes to get a perfect 300, that would be a perfect game. 245 is the world record. Carl's Sergeant, which tied the original owner of the 245, Ralph Semb. Let's go. Oh boy, instead of Emily, we've got Bob Caleri. Say goodbye to the perfect game and probably a good friend.
And that's a five to ruin it. Another just barely. Although if it went here over and I know this for a fact, most competitions will look the other way because it's just barely over. That's it. Another lovely five. So here's the halftime. Ten, ten, five, ten, five. Or forty. Barely acceptable. See, I broke the pattern. I guess that means there's two I'll stink of the bonus balls in my future. And I have double striked here before, but the way things are going, yeah. Think goes were so far. For the score, the six helps, but for a straight fill, not very good. We're set up for a curse of the fill. And the crappy six is all we're getting. Two frames to get eight. exactly where it had to go. That was a rare moment today. A lot of the times we got close, but rarely exact. Which means it's time for another El Stinko the bonus ball. Let's see what we'll get. 
four will guarantee middle of the road average skill. El Stinko doing its job with a two fill. If I shot it, it would be a dead ball. If I shot it, then it moved, it would still count as a good ball. The wood has to be still. All right, we recovered a little bit from that. has. Look at those fives. Those suck. That six doesn't help either, although the fill kind of worked. And that two fill sucks. 93 though. Alrighty. Let's see what. Okay, let's get this going, get that going. Actually bowling very good today. Well, Ben, Putnam Street, usually I bowl better because it's the easiest place there is. It's when we're at Mason that you, you got to really tell. Oh, if I got points, I would match the magic number. No free game again. Game number nine. There we go. Remains for now. Middle finger again for nine. This is definitely not the like the last time I was here, where more than half the games were hundreds. Definitely not a thing. That was just plain luck. We only did it twice.
lovely sights. great, but that's not going to help. Actually, we're all right. I got one of the other frames that were actually good. Then an eight and a nine. Minimal acceptance at a 41. Hello, Watson. All righty. 41. Living on a prayer yet again. single shot. One of my least favorite leads. Time for a little stinkle the bonus ball. And because the way I have things set up, and because I have to have the camera out from the lane to get a good signal, it's just too much work to grab the ball and do the whole El Stinkle the Bonus Ball thing. So it's El Stinkle the Bonus Ball. Will any of them be good now? We haven't had that happen in a long time. head pin is just teetering, which means that it's definitely behind the line. As ugly as it looks, the way the wood is, that's not really bad. And the seven feels pretty good too. Yeah, you can't see it, but that head pin is indeed leaning on the pin plate so the cap is slightly elevated so it's definitely behind the it's behind the uh, deadwood line 
if a pin touches or crosses that, it has to be removed like you saw earlier if you were watching. I thought that would work. Shows you how much, I'm, how much I suck, really. Yeah, I went for it. Actually hit once again the object I thought would work, proving that I saw. Got an eight though. So I need six and two frames to hit the minimal. Middle finger remaining for nine. Now we need seven to hit middle of average. According to ICP records of casual league bowlers, not the competitive, because they're in the 120s. And the world, worldly around 130, 140. We're talking casual, which is anywhere from 80 to 100. Salvage middle of the road with the That six sucks. Just in the middle of average. Pins at Putnam Street, newer than other places. Yeah, they typically uh, they replace them more often than most places. Oh, the ones that turn jet black almost. Those are the places that typically are the ones that grease the plates. Oh, if that bonus number was three higher, we'd have a free game. But I'll take the ninety-one. All right, game number ten. Number 10. I know I'm going to jinx it by saying this. No stinkers yet. Had really sucky events, but no stinkers total. when I'm gifted a sub.
It is great. No, we need better, we need better stuff, other stuff. help but we need more. And an eight. Here's the half. Seven, eight, seven, nine, eight. Rebuildable 39. I'm positive I've just about jinxed this one by saying no stinkers yet. Pretty much where I had to shoot it. Have the wood give me the mark. Which means it's time for El Stinko the bonus ball. The 10 helps raise it. A decent bonus will really help. asking for too much because almost every El Stinko has stunk, which proves that I never got better at this. That's a lousy two fill. Well, that mark meant nothing for some fill plus five.
Yeah, this game sunk. I, I changed it. Really. Changed it by saying something. I mean, it's still possible, but it's weak. this game we need a and ate it in. Once again, barely escaping death. Advantage dating. The signal on that end side. Now they have a very suspicious uh, when the Wi-Fi is available. It's suspicious. It wants to know my phone number. Not getting that. Alrighty. I got a 73, which I didn't think of this would have matched. Give me number one. One to go after this. an interesting Putnam Street spare. Means it's time for El Stinkle the bonus. Let's see if for once we can have a go. Stinko is weak with a fall. Yeah, we can't have any. So the fill, that's a seven. I'm okay with that. Putnam 
Putnam Street strike. As always, gifts are excessive. Means it's time for two old stink of the bonus balls. What will they add up to? Twice? No, not twice. Several times I got a double strike here. The way things have been going, no. Put in a nine already. Oopsie. if it went. Oh, we're at halftime. We've got a spare. Then a lousy 7 and 2. The first score falling, making that fill. Then a 10. And then a strike. And then a 9. The first ball knocking down the 9. The second one completely whiffing. And the 9 is what we got. It's a pretty good middle half there with a 69. Gotta love a Putnam Street strike. Makes that. Once again, it's time for a stink of the bonus ball and probably the third three-digit game of the day, which compared to last time is a lot less. But it's considered rather normal. What will El Stinko give us? Call that pretty good, I call it yuck. But at least a six foot.
Falling Gods showing their hatred for the night. It's a good game that didn't end with a garbage shot. Sucks. The four could have been better. Other than that, it wasn't too bad. 109. So, I'm going to wrap it up with game number 12. If I got an 83, I would have won. Final game, known as the big collapse, the great disappointment. Sometimes, and very rarely, and I mean extremely rarely, should I say, the great finish. Good bowlers don't throw them down the gutter. And that didn't slip either. Seven. I think the collapse is what's going to happen. Aiming for the middle. Hopefully, send both pieces of flying in the corner. Nine's okay. Another I wish it was ball two moment for ten. Came to 
rain on the parade. It's Bob Kaleri. And now that pin rolls where it won't help. Let's see what we can do. A seven to help ruin it. And we're surviving again. Pin in the pit again. Eight, seven, nine, ten, seven. Squeaking by with a 41. Time 10, the disappointment. By the way, uh, MGM took the betting again. They have it at two to one that it ends in disappointment. Six to one, it'll be minimal to average. 11 to one, 90 to in the 90s. And 86 to one, 100 plus. Wimper with a three.
it ends in ruins, like I predicted. Those two last frames required a mark. The third ball meant nothing, so I didn't care. So, 73. And that'll be it. We end with disappointment because I suck. No surprise there. That'll be it. Georgia551 saying hope you enjoyed at my expense on that last game and have a good one.